we know, we know. JT and Lil Uzi Vert aren't the type of celebrities we typically cover over here at your favorite YouTube channel. But after digging deeper into the rapper's relationship, we discovered that their romance is a hot spanking mess. Before we jump into today's video, go on ahead and open up your throw baby <laughs> and gobble up these goodies from rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of beef and bacon jerky, butter toffee peanuts, and gummy sour peach rings. Now, are y'all ready to get into this tomfoolery? Is Diddy going to prison? Hell yeah, I'm ready. Period, poo. <laughs> Period. This story begins in July 2018 when JT began her prison sentence for credit card fraud charges. Act up, you can get snatched up. <laughs> In 2019, she was released to a halfway house in Atlanta. By that point, she and Uzi were in communication with each other, and he asked if he could take her out on a date. She told Respectfully Justin Podcast that he came to visit her at the halfway house and handed her a bag of money. She said, I had a little Chanel bag, and he was like, take as much as you can. I could only fit $30,000, and I was so mad. See, you bitches don't wear enough clothes nowadays. You'd have more places to stash. You need to be ready at all times. Because, <laughs> baby, I would have stuffed myself like a scarecrow. You hear me? See, if you had a bra on and some shoes and socks, you could have put a stash in each side of your bra, in your panties, in your socks, your shoes, see, your pockets. Auntie Regina be trying to teach y'all, but y'all don't want to listen. In addition to showering her with money, he took her to the Louis Vuitton store and Taco Bell. A cheesy gordita crunch sound good as hell right about now with a margarita and some sour peach rings off in it mm -hmm. jt said they had to make it quick because she had to be back at the halfway house by a certain time but their relationship progressed from that point forward she said i don't want to keep talking because it's going to seem like i'm bragging i have a good man by the summer of 2020 things had taken a turn for the worse a woman posted an image of Uzi planning a big juicy kiss on her lips. Uzi said it was an old photo and the woman was just a fan. He also said he was high when the picture was taken. That sounds fun as hell. However, online users noticed the woman had a mask that was hanging below her chin, which led many to believe the photograph was taken sometime during the pandemic. In other words, Uzi was caught out in them streets being a little cheetah, cheetah, pumpkin eater. And spreading that Kobe 19 look like. <laughs> when the woman took to social media to tell her side of the story, JT responded by calling her desperate to be known. That's when the woman went for the jugular. She wrote, I could make this hoe cry by posting one little thing. I'm not proving no points to this old mad ass. JT dared the woman to post her receipts. She also told the woman she was embarrassed for her and embarrassed that Uzi slipped up with the bitch with loose lips. Let me get this right. So her man was caught cheating and she's sitting online defending him? Fix it, Jesus. Then came October 2020. There were rumors that JT had dropped Uzi like a hot potato. She took to her Twitter to write that she couldn't believe she used to be with someone who called her black and crunchy behind her back. A day or so later, she posted on Twitter that she would rather drink glass than to ever F with that F boy ever again. Well, damn. In another subliminal tweet, she referred to someone as a clown and said that it doesn't get any better than her because the rest of the women out there are ran through. Fans speculated she was talking about Uzi. However, JT never confirmed the allegations. By her 28th birthday on December 3rd, 2020, they had patched things up. Uzi surprised her by getting her G-Wagon wrapped with a new body kit, new wheels, and her iced out initials on the grill. Now, let's fast forward to February 2021. Despite Uzi tweeting that he only loved himself, his and JT's relationship was still going strong. In March 2021, fans noticed JT was wearing what appeared to be an engagement ring. Shortly after the speculation swept the internet, Uzi's ex-girlfriend friend Brittany Bird exposed some text Uzi had sent her. Law, this is finna get messy. Uzi was blowing her up in the messages. He also denied his relationship with JT. And you know JT loves her some Twitter. So she headed straight to the social media site to tweet, 
Nah, she left thinking he was going to chase her, and he ran the other way. If you so over it and free, why are you posting screenshots? City girl's down bad, y'all. Why is she constantly arguing over this little ninja with his goofy-looking ass? As fans questioned why she continued to deal with the constant drama in their relationship, a defensive JT answered, Cause I can. What y'all gonna do? Don't save her. She don't wanna be safe. <laughs> After this debacle, Uzi took to Twitter to declare that JT was the one. He also referred to her as his dark queen. Why this little ninja always gotta make a color reference towards her? Dark queen, black and crunchy. I mean, he just got a lot of nerve to keep coming for somebody. Is this the same ninja that decided to embed a 10 carat ass diamond in his f***ing forehead? Got tattoos all over his f***ing face and need braces? This ninja got the nerve to talk about somebody? Okay. Girl, I think he just meant dark as in broody, moody, and mean. Oh, we'll say that then. During a May 2021 interview with W Magazine, Uzi said JT kept him calm and helped balance him out. That same month, a magazine cover of the couple in their drawers leaked on social media. Uzi's ex, Brittany, commented with a sock emoji and LMFAO underneath the photo, which implied that Uzi had stuffed his underwear to give the appearance of a bigger dangling. And you already know it doesn't take much to set JT off. She hopped on Twitter, and in a series of deleted tweets, she told Brittany, who would literally die to be in my shoes with the success I have? All n*** and drip aside, I sh on your whole fake life, homeless ass helper. Did she mean to say helper? Because helper would go real good right there. JT added that after being in a three-year relationship with Uzi, Brittany had nothing to show for it but drip pics and text messages. JT said, you not a baby mama, wife, nothing. Move on, animated grasshopper. Not an animated grasshopper. That's what we gonna start calling the RRG haters. <laughs> animated grasshoppers. <laughs> Then came the 4th of July weekend, 2021. Britney was in Hollywood with a musician named St. John, whom she was rumored to be dating. They were at a cafe when Uzi jumped out of an Escalade and got into a verbal altercation with St. John. Uzi threw a punch at St. John and missed. God. With his uncoordinated ass. Fist. Sit your bite-sized ass down somewhere. And that's when Britney got up from the table and confronted Uzi. Uzi then allegedly pushed a gun into her stomach and hit her. Uzi later copped a plea deal and was sentenced to three years probation, one year of treatment for mental health and substance abuse, 52 weeks of domestic violence counseling, restitution, and the judge ordered a 10-year criminal protective order. Things were quiet between him and JT. Up until April 2022, online users dug up an old tweet where Uzi told a visual artist named Distorted, If you was meth, I would do it all day long. Uh-uh, honey. No. Uh -uh, honey. <laughs> that uh -uh, is not no. sexy. Uh -uh. Okay, that don't make the panties wet, Uzi, at all. Even though the tweet was from 2015, JT said it didn't matter if the tweet was old. What mattered was that Uzi lied and told her the tweet was fake. When she discovered it was real, she was too through with his little self. As for Uzi, he confirmed on Twitter that JT kicked him to the curb. Bye, Ashy. But you already know their breakup didn't last long. Five months later, during an interview with Chris Smooth's Instagram channel, Uzi referred to JT as the future mother of his children. That sounds like a great idea, said no one ever. Two months later, JT tweeted, single fix it jesus however she later deleted the tweet and clarified that she was just mad at something super petty take control of your damn emotions jatavia god damn it during an appearance on carisha please jt said she and uzi lived together and he paid all of her bills oh okay he gonna keep the bills paid because he know a bitch fine in july 2022 uzi changed the pronouns on his instagram to they them this move, along with his androgynous outfits, led people to accuse him of being gay. When asked about changing his pronouns in an interview with O32C Magazine, Uzi said he did it because he felt a level of support and acceptance from the LGBTQ community. So Uzi said their pronouns are they, them, and you still referring to them as a he. Y'all so damn messy. He also addressed the gay rumors in the song Flooded the Face, where he raps, <coughs> Testing, testing.
First of all, life of gay bitches a day. How could you ever say Lil Uzi gay? Four of them wrong, four of them safe. Think I'm splitting the odds before you debate? Ninja, what? What are you talking about? Ninja, so what that mean? For JT's 30th birthday in December 2022, he bought her a Rolls Royce SUV. Days later, they showed off tattoos of each other's names. Ding! That's a red flag. Of course, 2023 brought more drama. Attendees at the 2023 BET Awards captured footage of JT throwing her phone at Uzi and walking out of the venue. Online blogs stated the altercation started because JT was upset that Uzi was talking to fellow rapper Ice Spice. JT later clarified during an appearance on The Breakfast Club that it had nothing to do with Ice Spice. And she was mad because Uzi left her behind to go sit next to ASAP Bari. Girl, stop lying. In July 2023, JT got into an online beef with a blogger named Ken Barbie. In messages posted to social media, Ken Barbie, who referred to Uzi as his alter ego Leslie, implied that Uzi he had recently linked up with his ex, Brittany. Ken Barbie also dropped the name of a woman named Saudia B, who many believe is one of Uzi's side pieces. JT acknowledged Saudia B and downplayed her significance in Uzi's life. Fans weren't buying it, though. Many of them referenced a 2020 song Uzi released with Future called Marnie on Me, where Uzi raps, Swag like Saudia B. <laughs> That'll do it. That'll do it. And yes, the song was released when he and JT were in a relationship. That's messy as hell. I guess JT don't listen to his music, huh? <laughs> After Saudia defended herself, JT took to Twitter to accuse Saudia of sleeping around and having nothing to show for it. It be so have nothing going on in life. Like, they literally have nothing going on in life. Like, the bitch has nothing, nothing like jumping from big to big on a low, using a last little bit of money to dress up to go jump on more Just dick jumping. Too young for that at that. Then when you get home, your store, you ain't got shit. I got a job and my got a job. So me and you can never be the same. Be, be trying to make it seem like it's about a I don't argue over my n***a. But I'm gonna defend my motherfucking self every time. Saudia responded by saying she wasn't about to go back and forth over a ninja she wasn't even dealing with. She ended her message by accusing JT of being obsessed with her, and she called her a crack baby. Not a damn crack baby. By October 2023, it was clear that there was some major trouble in paradise. While updating fans about his life on his Instagram story, Uzi admitted that he was going through a stressful time that had impacted all the relationships around him. He said, I'm not as close to my family as I should be. My relationship isn't in the best shape. I just want to breathe. He felt alone, and he was done with having so many voices controlling his life. He also said he would give up all the money and perks to return to a normal life. When JT his 31st birthday rolled around, Uzi felt good enough to surprise her with a brand new Maserati and a Chanel bag. So the recurring theme in their relationship goes a little something like this. They have some good times together, they get into an argument that usually plays out on social media, and then Uzi will go out and buy her an expensive gift, and everything is good once again. And then the cycle keeps repeating itself over and over and over again. As of this video, Uzi has deactivated his Instagram and Twitter accounts, and JT is working on her solo career. And things are still chugging along in their relationship. Do you think Uzi and his future baby mama's relationship is built to last? Or do you think they need to stick a fork in this hot, stinking mess?